Welcome families, friends, staff, and the Frederick Douglass High School Class of 2022. Please remain standing for the Frederick Douglass High School JROTC to present the colors. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, 
under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so Remain standing for Lift Every Voice and Sing after the posting of the colors. Please be seated. Please welcome Mayor Brandon Scott.
Good evening. I thought this was a graduation. Good evening. Good evening, first and foremost, to the Frederick Douglass Class of 2022. Congratulations, young people. And I heard there was a rumor out that I was missing. No, I'm not missing. I'm right here with y'all where I'm supposed to be. Today is truly an honor for me here to be with you as you celebrate this milestone in your journey. But I also want to thank your parents, your families, your faculty, your teachers, your staff, everybody that has poured into these young people and all of their life. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> young people, graduating from high school is no small feat. And we understand and know that in Baltimore, you all have overcome obstacles, both big and small, to make this day a reality for you and your families. You have shown the world what Baltimore's young people is really about. Not the hashtags on TV news at night, but that excellence, that grit, that determination that you show to get to this point in your life. No matter the circumstance that you grew up in, hardship you face, you did not let that adversity keep you from your greatness, young people. So thank you uh, today. Today is possible because you have remained steadfast and committed to yourselves and each other. And more importantly, you're showing the world what your generation is capable of. But one of the hardest things to do in, young, in life, young people, is to become. And my simple challenge for you today is that I challenge each and every one of you to become who and what you are meant to be in this world. Step inch by inch into your purpose, your potential, and the endless possibilities that are ahead of you after today. Because let's be very clear, this is not the ending for you. This is the beginning. Remember, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. In the words of a Muhammad Ali, impossible is nothing. Each and every one of you has a gift, but you can either manifest your talent or watch somebody else live out your dreams. Hear me when I say, don't sit on the sidelines of life and let opportunities pass you by. Make the most of every single moment that comes your way because it can be your last. No matter where life takes you after today, know each of you has something special to offer to the world, but no one, young people, but you can keep you from your greatness, and no one but you is responsible for you making it there. We love you. We believe in you. The only question that remains is how much do you believe in yourselves and each other? Thank you. Congratulations. Continue to be great. Continue to soar. Thank you, Mayor Scott. At this time, I invite you to please get loud for your principal, Mr. Craig Rivers. Good evening. I'm gonna give some instructions and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask some people to stand. So I need you to all to hear me so that you can stand at the appropriate time. If you are in this arena and you have a hand and making sure that these individuals, the class of 2022, are sitting here today, please stand up. All right. Wait, wait a minute. All right. That's, that, that is my first group. Wait a minute. I got some more. I got some more. All right, that group, sit down. That group, you sit down. If you have raised your voice, yelled, said some very stinging words to some of the graduates here that are sitting in front of you today, that think, then you think that it got them here where they are today, I need you to stand up.
All right, sit back down. Sit back down. If, if you use the fatty part of your hand, a belt, a broom, a shoe, a flip-flop, I need you to stand up. We're not going to tell. This is, we, this is in-house today. Stand up. If you have taken a cell phone, if you have confined them to their room, if you have made them study when they didn't want to study, if you made them pick up a book when they wanted to watch TV, I need you to stand up. We're going to assume that all those things that I just mentioned that was done in love because you wanted to see them here today. So we knew there were some days that they hated us. There were some days that they were mad at us that they didn't want to speak to you. When you took that phone, they didn't want to have nothing to say to you. But guess what? We got them here today. So here's what I need you to do because we're going to flip it now. I need everybody that's in here, stand up. No, 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 no. You, 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 you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. This is, this is, this is, bear with me. I haven't done this in a while. It's been a, it's been a while. For all of the things that you've done to get them to this point today, we are going to stand up, class of 2022, and we're going to celebrate you for all that you've done to get this class here. So the class of 2022, stand up. And I want you at the top of your lungs, thank these people for helping you get here today. Come on, we got a little bit more in us. I'm talking about these are the people who woke you up when you want to roll back over and go to sleep. You got a little bit more in, in you than that. We thank you. Again, and y'all have, have, just sit down. I'm happy to see y'all. It's been a long time since we've been able to do this. And I, again, I promise you, um, we will not be sending any videos of this to the police department, so you don't have to worry about anybody coming knock on your door at CPS. We know it was done in love. I want to welcome everyone that is here today to help us celebrate this class of 2022. This is a community celebration. I know that you all will be doing some stuff individually at your homes and when you get out of here, but today this is about the, 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 the collective, the community. So we're going to make sure that we celebrate them in the right way. It has been a long time since we have been able to do it this way. This class had one full year of high school. They had a half a year, their, seven, their, their second year, and then we were hit by COVID. Then we had a virtual year, and then half of an in-person, and then we had a, our first in-person year. So this class has endured a lot to be here, but also we know that you all endured a lot to be here. We are thankful to have you here. Let's continue our celebration of this mighty class of 2022. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our valedictorian, Desmond Brown. Welcome alumni, staff, and family, and friends, and visitors of Frederick Douglass High School. I am delighted to personally congratulate the graduating class of 2022. We are gathered here for the last time on this special day. We did it. Although it was tough to endure COVID-19, our pandemic during the 10th and 11th grade years, we are now here to prove our individual abilities of success, and we are all proof of our individual and collective drive, we are also proof that when you desire to achieve something, that you really can. We are proof of what determination looks like. Be proud of yourself for the journey you've taken over the last four years, especially the height of the pandemic when nothing was certain but uncertainly. Be proud of yourself. Be proud because you persevered. Be proud of yourself of your journey you are about to embark on. Remember how it feels to make your own decisions 
and invest in yourself. Remember what it feels like when you make your own self proud and never forget the time you spent investing in yourself, your own self, and valuable. So let our, so let our journey together over the last four years be a testament to the fact that we will be unpredictable. Your job is to be steadfast like you were the last four years. Do not get, be distracted, but remember, you are your investment unto yourself. You must always remember that what you are working for, no matter how difficult it is, not to be not in vain, and that success. Oh, and that it will come to you. And don't let the fear play a part to your journey of success. You are intended to forge ahead, even if there are delays and setbacks. Remember, always forge ahead, just like here at Douglas. There will be people to guide you, people to encourage you, and people to direct you if the way looks unclear. Be open to your new journey of success and remember that the journey is not about a singular moment, but it is about the full experience. So do not let singular moments in your journey be so significant to you that you forget your way. Always remember what you did to achieve this moment in your life. To the staff, we thank you for your heartfelt engagement and your dedication to serve the students of Douglas with diligence and care and recognized and really appreciated to our families, friends, esteemed visitors. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Your encouragement helped foster that can-do attitude that we are proud of and to say that we all thank you for joining us on our journey. I am sure we will all see each other along the way to continue to travel towards success. Thank you. Mr. Rivers will now do the recommendation of the class. Don't get suspended during graduation. <laughs> Always playing. This is our favorite part. Let me have everyone's attention. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Frederick Douglass High School, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both, the, of, of both Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you one of my mentors, um, currently getting ready to retire, head of special ed, my former boss, Dr. Deborah Brooks, the executive director of special education. Good evening. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal, Mr. Rivers, and by the authority vested in me as executive director of special education, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2022 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Ronald McFadden, Commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board. Congratulations, Class of 2022. Good afternoon. Mr. Rivers, um, we mentioned earlier that this graduation generally falls on Mr. Cash's birthday. So can we wish Mr. Cash a happy birthday as well? Here we go, y'all ready? In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of Principal Rivers, and the acknowledgement of the Executive Director of Special Education, Dr. Deborah Brooks, and by virtue of the authority vested in me 
as Vice Chair of the Baltimore City School Board, I take pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2022 for the conferring of high school diplomas. Congratulations, everyone. Desmond Brown. Charles Ruffin. Kevin Carter. Felicity Ogu. Robert Dupree. Jaden Human. Tylea Johnson Smith. <laughs> Elijah Stanley. <laughs> Demonye Layton. Kobe Kennedy. <laughs> Kyrell Allen. I got you. Javion Arrington. <laughs> Darrell Banks. Dewan Barnes. Jalen Bennett. John Asia Best. Alex Blakeney. Delacia Bullock. Aishana Burrell. Siani Butler. Kaya Carber. <laughs> Nateja Crawley. <laughs> Maurice Darby. <laughs> Andre Day.
Alexander Denard III. Darren Downs. Nyinga Dunbar. Justin Epps. Kayla Felder. Brianna Ford. Dejanae G. Larry Gilmore. Olivia Goforth. Aviana Goodman. Drayon Graham. Austin Grant. Demonte Hasty. Dakira Horton. Terry Jackson. Tyon Jennings. Drayana Johnson. Quantre Johnson. Shantia Jones. Tamia Jones. Halik Lewis. Kalia Long. Janaya Malone. Daniel Marshall. Leonard McNeil. Janaya Mayers. Trayon Miller. Aja Mitchell. Kamari Neville. Kiana Pack. Ernest Pinckney. Mark Powell. DeMarco Purvis.
Ivan Martin. India Randall. Mayana Randolph. Catherine Reyes Diaz. Jemaye Robinson. Ricardo Romero. Danielle Sanders. Isaiah Sanders. Brianna Scruggs. Dwight Sharp. Kenesha Smith. Catherine Sorto Reynoso. Davon Spencer. Kyria Stanley. Brianna Talley. <laughs> Kyla Talley. What they say? What they say? Delia. Tinkler. <laughs> Kevon Trent. <laughs> Jalen Turner. Victoria McElhaney. <laughs> Connie Wade. Shaquan Walker. Bernard Wallace. Michael Ward. Ethan Washington. Jamira Wax. <laughs> Kiera Webb. <laughs> Jeanette Whiteley. Tiana Williams. Oh, 
DeMarco Worsing. Keontae Woodlawn. Faith Wyatt. Demonte Yates. Janaya Brown. Diamond Jackson. Sasha Thompson. Please welcome to the podium your class administrator, Mr. Jermaine Skinner. Class of 2022. I said class of 2022. I only have two words for you. Stay true. I'm proud of each and every one of y'all. Again, you're my first class. We came in here together at Frederick Douglass. I'm glad to be here finishing with y'all. I love y'all. Y'all know y'all can always come to us. Thank all the people on the stage because they all had a hand, especially your guidance counselors, Mr. Rogers and Ms. Thompson. And as always, we shall end how we begin. Now Mr. Rivers will give the closing remarks. Just before we end our ceremony, I would like to ask our representative from March Funeral Home to come up. He wants to make a quick, um, present a quick uh, gift to uh, one of our students. Good afternoon and congratulations. What a huge accomplishment. My name is Victor March Jr. I'm one of the owners of March Funeral Home and I have the honor and privilege of presenting the Thelma March Scholarship to an outstanding graduate of Frederick Douglass High School. 65 years ago, my grandparents, William and Roberta March, started March Funeral Homes and made a promise to themselves if they became successful that they wanted to give back to the community and give back in a big way. And I'm proud to say that we have kept that legacy alive and have given over $100,000 back to our community. After the tragic passing of my grandfather's sister, Thelma March, we decided to establish a scholarship to disturbing, I mean, outstanding students of Frederick Douglass High School and Dunbar. She attended Frederick Douglass High School and actually graduated and attended Coppin State. At this point, I am glad to announce the winner 
of the Thelmark Scholarship Fund, which is a four-year scholarship. And it's the 35th year of us offering the scholarship to Mr. Kevin Carter. As many of you may know or you may not know, uh, I am finishing up my fourth year here at Frederick Douglass, the historic Frederick Douglass High School. And my first year here was these individuals, these amazing individuals first year here. So we were kind of like freshmen together. And uh, when I first got here, did not know a lot of students. I did not know a lot of families. And so over this time, over this four-year period, which has been very difficult, um, I've had to build relationships through, a, through COVID. But when I look out and I see the faces of this class, there are stories in each one of those robes, gowns that are sitting out there. Uh, many of them I had an opportunity to work with, teachers or some kind, you know, in some kind of capacity. Uh, I just want to make sure that I say to you all, that journey that got you here, that story that got you here, don't forget it. I hope that your experience here, your journey here, will always be a source of strength for you. So when you face your next challenge, and I hope that everyone, when they leave here, you are waiting on your next challenge. My hope is that you will think back to the experiences that you had here and it will give you strength to move forward and do even greater things. To all of our guests, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, guardians, and whatever capacity that you played in helping them get here, the journey is not over. They still have more to do. So don't, don't stop yelling. Don't put down the flip-flop. Don't stop saying those things that we need to say to them so they can get to the next, because they're not done. They're not done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you so much. Please welcome the Frederick Douglass High School Alumni Association representative, Ms. Shirley Duncan, who will present the Alumni Association Scholarship induct the class of 2022 into the Alumni Association and do the turning of the tassel. Good afternoon, my name is Shirley Duncan. I'm from the class of 1966. I would like for the alumni to stand we have four scholarships that we want to present today for the class of 22. It's Mr. Desmond Brown. Mr. Kevin Carter. Mr. Diamond Jackson. Mrs. Diamond Jackson. Mr. Charles Ruffin.
On last year, we would like to present from the class of 21, if they're here, Taisha Summers, Cornelia Miller, Shamar Burrell, Tamara Harris, from the class of 21. They will have scholarships presenting to them um, and instruction of how it's pre being presented. The Frederick Douglass High School Alumni Association would like to do the pledge. Will you all stand? The class of 22. State your name. Do faithfully pledge to be an active member of the Frederick Douglass High School Alumni Association Incorporated. To preserve and enhance the honor and good name of the Frederick Douglass High School and promote the charitable, religious, educational, scientific purpose of the Alumni Association. You can turn your tassels now. are now members of the historical Frederick Douglass High School Alumni Association Incorporated. We need you to be a part of this because you're going to have to help us. You're the young people now. We're getting older. So we need you to come to our meeting. It's the third Thursday of every month at 6.30. So we need your help. We need your knowledge. We need your encouragement. Thank you so much. Class of 2022, please remain standing for the school song.
Congratulations, class of 2022. Families, we invite you to stay seated while the class recesses.